I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. I'm H.C. Bailey and I welcome you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI and I can't deny it with our airship. Let's take a tour of the world with our new airship. That's where we started there, back on the, uh, uh, well, Kefka's continent now, the old Empire's continents. Let's see, this is where Narsh was, around here. Got Doma Castle, the Velt, the cave on the Velt. Well, let's take a look down here, too. Uh, if you haven't guessed, I'm looking for a friend of ours in the skies, if you know what I mean, viewers. See what we got over here. See, we got the old village of Thamasa, and there's another cave in that area. Huh. Yeah, I'm looking for a friend, just kind of like uh, Ultima Weapon in Final Fantasy VII, except he's invisible in this game. Okay, this is taking too long. Uh, I'm just going to keep flying around for a while until I find him, and then uh, edit out the time I spend in between here, viewers. Ah, there we go. Found him. Doom Gaze! Now, when you fight this guy, make sure that uh, none of your characters have a level that is a multiple of five. Holy cow! Look at that bum rush there. So I'm just going to have Setzer stand by for healing. Basically, uh, he is weak to fire and uh, pearl elemental stuff. So Setzer really can't do a whole lot in my party now, so let's just stick to uh, Fire 2. Uh, oh, that might hurt. Yeah, especially Edgar, because I have him equipped with the Ice Shield. Oh well. I guess I kind of forgot about that. Oops. He's got, I think, 55,000 HP or something like that, but we can get a very good uh, ability from him, or, well, you'll see. Soon enough, viewers, Bum Rush is amazing against this guy. Well, it's amazing against just about anybody, but especially this guy. And of course, having the Pearl Lance with the Dragoon equipment really helps out a lot, too. Come on, Celis. Yes! Let's get back to Sabin's turn there. Too bad I don't have haste for Sabin, but oh well. We do what we can. <sighs> Thank goodness uh, Edgar's in the air this time around. Let's see, one more Pearl Lance and Bum Rush ought to do it. Come on, guys! Finish him! If you can, that is. That ought to do it, I think. Damn it! Oh, well. Uh, yeah, if you don't deal enough damage to him quickly enough, he'll run away. But fortunately, his HP will stay the same. So now what I've got to do is I've got to do this all over again. I'm going to heal up and... Uh, oh! We're in our airship here. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm going to take a moment to heal up, and then we'll go searching for him again. And this time I'll finish him off. Okay, let's say we try that one again. This time with less singing. Sorry, viewers, I've just had that song stuck in my head all day. Thanks a lot, Walgreens. I don't know why they had that song playing. Okay, we found him again. There we go. Let's get him this time with more feeling. There we go. Finish him off this time, Sabin. I also uh, equipped Edgar with the uh, Genji shield, so that way uh, the, the ice shield makes you weak to um, wind, which is why he got annihilated by Arrow there. There we go. Uh, by the way, Doomgaze's location on the map is fixed. He won't move around or fly around constantly. So, um, you know, obviously don't search the same location twice. Although, how would you know, right? But anyway, yeah, we got him. By the way, don't kill him with Vanish and Exome. Because then, if you do that, it uh, bypasses his uh, uh, death script, or react death script. So he won't drop this magicite. Uh, Vanish Doom, I believe, does work if you don't want to take forever to get the Bahamut magicite, but it's just amazing. So now that we've gotten that, I want to take a moment to uh, find a place to make a pit stop and be right back. 
Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, why did you bother going for such an advanced esper relatively early in the world of Ruin? Well, because it was easy, but more than that, because of the spell that uh, you can learn from it. Flare! Oh, it's not as obscenely powerful as it, it was in uh, you know, my other Let's Play that I was working on, but still, pretty darn good. And I really don't have anything else for uh, Celis to work on there, so I figured might as well go with that. I've got uh, Setzer equipped with Fenrir and Sabin equipped with Gollum for now, by the way, too. Yeah, I mean, it's just that, you know, I don't have access to the level 3 elemental spells yet, or Cure 3, or the more advanced life spells. So it's like, well, what else can I do, really? So I might as well get her started on Flare. And as long as I'm in the area, let's check up on Terra and our old friends here. See what's going on here. See if anything's changed since last time. Oh, no! Hey, uh, Terra! Hey, uh, oh, she's gone, too! And that other guy, uh, what's his name? Dwayne! Oh, that jerk! Oh, okay, so that's what she meant by, uh, uh, Dwayne being mean to her. You did this to me, Dwayne! Yeah, no one else there says anything interesting. Well, I would think having a baby would be a joyous occasion, you know? Another baby, another deduction! Good job, Caterin! And, uh, hey, where's that dog going? Well, there's Dwayne. Oh, he's just going to hide behind the bookshelf. Great guard dogs you got around here, Dwayne. Well, you can become a father like a normal person. I mean, I, well, I guess tax deductions really wouldn't help, you know, not anymore, but, you know. So where could Caterin and Tara have gone? Could it be through this secret passage? Let's find out. Hey, you guys! Oh, that's wonderful. I like how they dodge the whole teenage pregnancy issue here, you know? They just say, like, way earlier in the game that they were, like, 16 years old, so now they're 17. So it's still a teenage pregnancy. But they figure, I would guess they figured, well, hey, it was so early in the game, people have probably forgotten it by now, so parents won't complain about it, you know, and the whole moral implications and everything like that. I mean, not that I'm one to talk about moral implications or anything like that. I'm just saying that I'm surprised that they didn't try to do some more BS censoring again. But now Fumbaba's back, so we got to uh, take care of him. And, uh, yeah, everyone else is, uh, gonna stay here on the sidelines. Well, now it's four-on-one, so surely we can finish him off this time around. Let's get him! Okay, first things first. Let's go, uh, Bum Rush. That's our, uh, best move that we got here. To have Setzer, uh, use Fenrir. Salus, Runic, and once I get Fenrir up, then I'll jump. You don't want to jump too quickly, because jump takes priority over just about everything else. So even though I entered the Fenrir command first, uh, at, before jumping, if I selected jump too quickly, um, Edgar could have uh, jumped before getting the image bonus from Fenrir. And that would have been pretty bad. So let's Runic again. There we go. Runic gives image status to everyone, which basically gives you a one-time guaranteed evade. Oh no! Celos! And Edgar! Oh no! Can we finish off Fumbaba with just two characters left? What are you doing, Terra? Can she help us defeat Fumbaba once and for all? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!